Hey, I'm awake. I know what's going on. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm okay. Here we go. Inside the thing. Hello, everybody. My name is Roger Daltrey. And welcome back to another episode of the Roger Daltrey Show. Today, I'm gonna eat... I'm gonna break the world record for eating apples. I'm gonna try to eat as many apples as I can in one go. Like at one time. How many apples can Roger Daltrey fit in his mouth? That's what today's episode is going to be called. What do you think the answer is going to be? I think I can beat my personal best of two. But, you know, that's just me. I believe I can do it. And if I believe I can, then I don't know the rest of that saying. Oh. I'm in the water. Roger Daltrey in the water. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have heard of Roger Daltrey. Of course you have, it's me. I'm the one playing the game. I'm the one whose video you're watching. You all signed up to watch Roger Daltrey play Super Mario Sunshine. It is the only video game I'm going to play on my channel. I'm just going to play Super Mario Sunshine over and over and over and over and over and over again. And because it's so good. Everybody loves it. What are you upset about? I saw a monster with a super king size noggin. It was huge. There's no way that thing was natural. Hey, buddy. There's no. That's no way to talk about big headed freaks. You gotta be nice to the unnatural creatures. You know what I mean? Like, that's not cool. Who taught you matters? Your mama? Because if so. Your mama is bitch. What do I have to say about that? I mean, I've never met your mother. She could be a fine, sandy member of the community. But I gotta say, the way that you act around other people makes me think that you were not raised properly. And that makes me sad. I think, you know, lots of people aren't raised properly. And it's an embarrassment to the human race. That's what I'm gonna say. I need water. I need water. Water, water. Ooh, uh. This is all it's gonna be. Nothing better is gonna happen in this water. Let me tell you, man. Have you ever. Did you ever, like, see those adverts for fucking McDonald's? They do it all the time. And they're like, hey, check out our new McDonald's burger. It's different. Like, wow, I can't wait to see what's different about it. Maybe they'd be a, you know. Maybe they made it out of real food this time. And they're like, wow, well, McDonald's burgers are very different this time. It's a new promotion. It's limited time only. Wow, okay, cool. Let's see what you got. And then they're like, it, this one's got uh, bacon on it. And you're like, is that it? Is, is there more? Is that a big deal? That you, your, your fucking burger has bacon on it? But like, McDonald's... They thrive on trying to make it seem like their shit is a big deal. You know? This one's got a slice of cheese on it. And 80 extra pounds, please. You know, or whatever, how much it costs. I don't know how much it costs to go to McDonald's. What do I look like? A fucking plebeian? Some kind of fucking, you know, average Joe who eats a shit cake McDonald's? No. I'm not that. On somebody else. Oh, what the? And and it's not weird that they're like, look at our new promotion. It's got a slice of cheese. Uh, it's got double bacon. And you're like, dude, it's your regular burgers. Like, why don't you just make this shit anyway? You know, like, why don't you have a burger that has extra fucking bacon on it? You poor mongers. You know, like, how hard is that? It's just a fucking extra slice of cheese or an extra bacon or whatever. But they make it out like it's a big, oh, limited edition. I'm like, dude, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I hate when he does that one. Um, no. You're not. No. 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 Oh, what the fuck? You're not fooling anybody at McDonald's. You know, I, uh, I'm not buying it. I gotta say, 
do not agree. Also, your burgers are to suck anyway. Like, they, they're just not good. And, like, you know, I don't know why people like McDonald's. We had, we had regular food. I think you might like it better. It tastes like actual things. You know what the worst thing about this is, though? Like, I don't want this to turn into fucking free exposure from McDonald's. I know it sounds like I'm slagging them off a lot, and I definitely 100% am slagging them off. But you know what they say, like, all publicity is good publicity. So, like, they're gonna be, they're gonna put a statement later that says, yes, our burgers aren't good. And yes, sometimes we take the piss with our promotions. You know, advertising, slice of bacon as the most revolutionary thing to happen to burgers since the actual invention of the burger. And yes, sometimes our fries are made out of newspaper. And yes, we did one time accidentally kill and eat a child and put it in our burgers. Yes, all of these things, okay fine, some of this might have happened. You know what I mean? Like, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. However, now everybody's talking about McDonald's, so hooray. Come and enjoy our new McDonald's burger. We call it the McDonald's burger because it sucks ass. Just like McDonald's. And everybody's like, wow, McDonald's, you know? Like, free promotion. I want water. Um, is, it, is it water up here? Are you serious? Do I gotta go all the way fucking die and get more water? Give me water. <laughs> well, alright. Uh, anyway, yeah, I didn't want to give like free promotion to McDonald's because they don't deserve it. They're like the biggest chain in the world anyway. They get promotion all the time. And I don't think the people should go to that fucking shitty ass restaurant anyway. Because it garbo. And um, what's the right thing? Oh, yeah, wait, okay. Conserve the water. The water, and um, like you know how I, like a while ago, people would do this thing, which is really annoying. I didn't like it. I didn't work there, where they would say, um, they would say the phrase "cheeky nandos." They're like, "Let's go get a cheeky nandos." In response, or not response, in in reference to the chain of chicken establishment restaurants called Nando's that we have in the United States of America. And by the United States of America, I mean the United Kingdom. Uh, it's, it's, just, it's the same. It's a difference. Um, and I hear that because one, Nando sucks dick. People think Nando's is great. It's not. Whoever says that, you're an idiot. Like, it's just chicken. Just regular plain old chicken. If you want good chicken, go to KFC. Like seriously, it's the best chicken. Um, uh, but what also used to annoy me about that was it, it was like like total free promotion for Nando's. Nobody seemed to realize that. People were just saying this fucking phrase over and over again. Oh dear, chicken Nando's. <laughs> Aren't I funny? And uh, it's not funny, you're just, you're like blatantly giving free promotion to some fucking organization or company that doesn't at all deserve it. And it doesn't deserve it because, like I said, Nando sucks. Like, why? Oh, no. Like, why would you want to give promotion to them? They're not going to give you a free fucking chicken. So, that's just weird. That used to creep me out, how like everybody, everybody would say it, everybody would say that Prius. Like, where, where do they come from? Cheeky Nando? Like, it doesn't even sound good. What does it mean? Cheeky Nando. So you go into a restaurant, you don't go in there for like five minutes. You gotta go in there, order your food, sit there for half an hour, and then eat it. You know, nobody does go in for like a cheeky whatever. You just, what you mean is you gotta sit there for fucking ages. Um. And eat your fucking dumbass chicken that tastes like 
piss. You know, it's stupid. Yeah. What is the look of heaven? Is it this? Where he? Oh, there he is. And I scored him behind. So yeah, um, I used to take great offense uh, at that. But also because like it was kind of like bandwagoning, you know, people would people just heard it and they would just say it. Um, and it's the same with like um, people used to say Netflix and chill a lot, which you know boggles my mind because that's like total free promotion for Netflix. Netflix is not doing it; it's just somebody one day just starts saying Netflix and chill, and then everybody just starts saying it. Because they're like, oh, it's a thing, you know, get it? Now we're all... I think that people, deep down, they just enjoy, um, like, being part of a gang. And they enjoy being part of... Like, they enjoy the gang mentality. They enjoy, kind of, um, knowing that other people think the same way they do. And so I think that they, inherently or otherwise, just end up... Um, the copying things like a parrot, they would do things and say things that um, they've heard or um, other people do or say, just so that they kind of fit in more and they feel more accepted, which I don't like because I'm like that kind of strips away individuality. If if you just if you start parroting something for the sake of fitting in or for the sake of you know trying to be cool or whatever, like what's the point? It doesn't make any sense you actually like Nando's, go to fucking Nando's, but like, don't regurgitate some catchphrase that somebody else has come up with totally soullessly just to sell a bunch more chicken. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to, you don't have to subscribe to that ideal. You can do whatever you want, and you should. But what you, whatever you want shouldn't be what somebody else has already done or is doing. Ooh, blue coin. Anyway, uh, who would have thought that Roger Daltrey could have so much to say about Nando's? I might not put this episode up because I don't want to give free promotion to Nando's and to McDonald's. Although, uh, hey KFC, if you're listening to this, you hit me up, man. If you want to sponsor the show, because I got nothing but good shit to say about fucking KFC, man. It is yummy. I don't know why anybody would not like KFC. Like if you had, like if you sat there with Nando's chicken and KFC chicken, and you and you made your decision, and you and you decided that you like Nando's better, and like, well, that's 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 fine. But also, you are a jibbering idiot. Like you are hundred percent incorrect. You are way 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 off the mark. KFC chicken. Now that's the good shit. I gotta say, that's the good chicken. Although, you know, like, uh, like uh, I was slagging off the balance out here, but their, their chicken's all right. But it's just not real chicken. You know what I mean? KFC's, that, that's chicken. Like, you know, it's on the bone, the chicken bone. You know that it's quality chicken, because it tastes good. It's a good shit. KFC, listen man, we'll do business. You and me, we'll go into business for ourselves. We'll be businessmen, we'll have a great old time. You know, I would do it. 100% do it. And if you want to sponsor the show, give me free fucking hot wings. Oh my god, your hot wings are so good. And so please, KFC, sponsor Roger Daltrey and his. Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. Where the fuck did that guy go? Where'd he go? Where are you? What? Where are you? What is it? Huh? Oh, there he is. I found him. Got him. Don't worry about it, boys. And girls. Boys and girls. Um. If anybody else has any good like chicken suggestions, let me know. If you if you if you've eaten some good chicken, I'm interested. Tell me more. What's the chicken like in Burger King? I imagine probably not that good. Cause you know, 
they're all about the burgers. But for me, if you want chicken, you gotta go to the KFC. You know what I mean? The Colonel, he knows what's up. He's had his 11 herbs and spices for 86 years. Fucking guy knows what's up, you know? It just makes sense. That's all I'm saying. Where is this fucking shine? On top of the goop. I gotta go to the goop. I gotta go to the goop. I gotta keep it easy. Yes, I missed it. I got it. I got it. Alright, so next time we'll talk more about chicken because everybody loves chicken. Alright, thanks for chicken.